Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor, and today we're talking about the ESTP personality type. Now what I found is that the ESTP is the biggest influencer of the MTI. Often the ESTP is held to a level of accountability and respect. And this is often why the ESTP has a big say in shaping how we all see and look at the world. Now the ESTP's primary outlook is on the normal natural flow of things. The ESTP's primary interest is how does the world look, what do we have around us, how, what can we understand about the world, what can we see, what can we touch, what can we hear, what can we know. And here the ESTP is firmly rooted in experience. They have been there, they are usually the first to have been there, and they know it before anybody else knows it. So they are the adapter types, one of the adapter types, and that means they look at and they see how things are, and then they share it with other people. So they tell us how things are, they tell us what things look like, how much they're worth, what they're good at, what they're bad at, they prospect the people's skills, they understand uh, different talents, they understand uh, how things look, they can describe it in strong detail to other people. They have been there and that's why often people tend to see them as like, wow, he's been there, he actually knows this stuff. So often it's that they have a degree of, a level of influence in how things are and how we see the world. Often ESTP is uh, stereotyped as the used car salesman and there's some truth to that because they have the ability to sell the world to us, to tell us how things are and to tell us how it should be. So often when we talk to an ESTP, we tend to go, yes, of course, yeah, sure, wow, oh, that's great, wow, it goes that fast, my god, that's fast. If he says it's fast, it must be fast, because he seems like a guy that has experienced things, has seen things, has been there, knows his stuff. So the ESTP is held to a level of influence, and uh, what... You have to look at when you understand the ESTP personality type is they are seasoned or they want to be seasoned. They want to have experienced things. They want to have been there. They want to have tried things out. So there is a misconception with after ESTP as an adrenaline junkie. Often it's that the ESTP likes to be where things are happening. It's that the sensing type looks for a degree of experience and concreteness. They want to be in a practical situation where things are happening. They want to be on stage. They like to perform. They like to draw attention to themselves. They like to talk with other people. They like to be hands-on with another person, to knock them on the back, to say, good job, wow, like, that's great stuff. How did you do that? So the ESTP is often the person that tends to promote living life to the fullest and that doesn't necessarily mean any amusement parks it doesn't necessarily mean uh, climbing mountains it doesn't necessarily mean uh, uh, driving fast cars but it does mean actually being where things are happening attending the party showing up uh, doing things having something to do the ESTP always wants something to happen and it's very difficult for the ESTP to be in a situation where nothing is happening, to be in a situation where you have to wait and see and listen and take things in and uh, read the instruction book first and uh, to sit down and to just, oh, it's just hell, it's hell for the ESTP personality type. Because the ESTP wants to try things out, to actually be able to hold things, to actually be able to test things, to actually be able to throw them and see what happens. The ESTP wants to create action around them. So there's a lot of reaction and spontaneity. So the ESTP likes when things happen all of a sudden, out of nowhere. The ESTP also is usually the person that makes things happen. Out of nowhere, all of a sudden, the ESTP will say something, do something, that will get people's attention and that's one of the ESTP skills grabbing people's attention let me tell you why ESTPs are the greatest influencers of the MTI first they grab your attention they say something you've never heard before they do something you've never seen before and they say it in a way that makes you go like wow what happened what is this and then they say look here they tell you look here look at this thing and then they show it to you and then they say to you this is what it is. This is how fast it is. This is how good it goes. This is how much it's worked. This is, uh, and here's one of the skills of ESTPs or thinking perceiving types, bartering and negotiation. So that is telling you, taking this thing and saying, 
this is better than that thing, and this is better than that thing, and if you get this, you also get that, and then you get that, and then they throw things in, and then they make it really, really, really interesting. Uh, because they have this ability of showing and helping us understand the value of things. Often, to a lot of people, it can look like things have no value, or everything is good in different ways, and everything is good at different things. But the ESTP is really good at showing what's really, really interesting, what's really, really valuable, what's really, really smart. So often, this is very convincing, because when they say something is better than the other, people go, oh, it's better. Oh, then I must have it. That creates a pull, even if you didn't really care about none of those things. It creates a pull, because suddenly one thing is better, and then it's like, Wow, I need, then I must have it if it is better, <laughs> even if it's something you don't even need. So the ESCP has a way of making things important to you, and that's understanding your situation. Okay, now this guy comes in, he looks like a total nerd. Okay, what can I do to sell to this guy? This is also the thing, the ESCP has this ability to read body language and to read a person's expression and experience. So... They can go and look at a person and they read everyone. They are very, very attentive people. You know, what did they say about the best influencers of the world? The best influencers of the world are also very good at listening. And what that means is just paying attention to another person. If you feel heard by a person, you also tend to want to hear them. If, you may, if a person makes you feel seen, it's like, Wow, he's making me feel seen. Oh, so much a nice guy. What a great guy. Oh, I want to uh, learn about him. Who is he? What, why is he like this? Why is he so great? So the ESTP has a tendency to bring attention to themselves by also bringing attention to other people. They make, they put you in the spotlight. They grab you and say, hey, everyone, this is Kyle. And then they show you off to everyone. And then they tell everyone about you. Kyle is this really great guy I met at the garage sale. And I'm like, I'm a Oh, I'm a great guy. Yeah, he, he made this really good deal. And it's like, I made a good deal. Oh, that's great. Uh, and then he puts you in this situation where you feel really seen, really valued, really appreciated. And of course, in this, there is a sense of uh, being like, there's a fascination for Kyle, for the ESTP. It's like, who is he? Why is he doing this? Why is he so nice? Why is he like putting me in this situation? So the ESTP has a tendency to do all these things, and that's also why ESTPs tend to be very popular people in the sense of, uh, yeah, just uh, they're just making people feel seen and making people feel heard. So the ESTP also tends to be admired for their ability to bring action around them, which is just when you know when you're with an ESTP, you know there's always going to be something new happening. You know there's never going to be a boring moment. You know that there's always going to be something going on. So the ESTP set always creates life around them. So hearing all of this, you're going to be wondering, okay, what's the bad side? What's the, what's, where's the poop? Where's the bad stuff? And in this, like, you have to understand that no personality type is innately bad. But if you want to understand the ESTP's struggles and difficulties, that's when you have to look at the inferior function. The ESTP has a struggle with certain matters of life. And I've been on this when I talked about the ESTP's struggle to wait. This is very difficult for them. When something becomes abstract and vague and hypothetical and long-term in its prospects, the ESTP struggles immensely with this. It's because the ESTP has such a grasp of the close hanging fruit, the low hanging fruit. They know what's nice, they know what's fun, what's, what's great in the moment. But it's hard for them to understand the value of waiting for something longer on. It's difficult for the ESTP too to put themselves in a situation where they have to sit down and try to think about something. Just try to make an, put an image in your own head. Just try to understand it. Try to think about it. Try to ask yourself some questions about it. The ESTP hates that situation of, oh, I have to just guess or wonder about something. Because they want to experience it hands-on. They want to actually have something to hold, actually have something to see. When a discussion goes to something abstract or hypothetical or theoretical, it's often like, but what do I do with it? How do I use this? What do I make of it? And it's, don't get me wrong, 
ESTPs have a great appreciation for this. Often when ESTPs meet people that are theoretical and long-term and visionary, they are like, wow, huh, that's cool. And uh, the thing is, they admire this and they respect this because they understand that there, objectively there is a value to this because they can do great things with it. But they understand as well that this is a difficulty for me because it takes a lot of energy for me to do it. It feels very difficult to go step into it. It uh, feels very boring and draining. I, I do it and I try my best to create some kind of long-term plan for my life and to sit down and write things down, but I get bored along the way and it's difficult to maintain it and to keep at it. And it's like easy to get tempted and distracted by other things that are happening. So for the ESTP, it can be very difficult. It's also managing people. Because, like I said, okay, the ESTP is very good at uh, getting around around people. And this is just uh, being able to connect with and make people feel seen and make people feel heard. That's a great skill for dealing with people. But uh, when it comes to diplomacy, that's a very difficult thing for the ESTP. And that's just being able to hold your tongue, being able to uh, know when to say something and how to say something, to not sound too rude or to not sound too much or to not uh, be too rough on a person. And this is also something because the ESTP can be too rough with people. And that is just uh, misjudging how the other person will respond to pressure. The ESTP has a tendency to, when things are not working, put the pressure on a person. Why, is it, why are things not working? What's wrong? What's going on? What's up? And in this, there can be a sense of pushing people. And uh, some people will respond really well to this, and they'll rise to the occasion, but other people will become sad or hurt or upset by this. Like, why are you putting me, uh, putting this on me? Why are you, like, saying this to me? Like, uh, why, do I, uh, why are you so rude? Why, why can't you just leave me alone? Right? So the ESTP can also struggle with these things, and it can struggle with giving other people privacy, and they can make people... They can try to get people on stage when people don't want to be there. So in this, it's all about boundaries and all about recognizing that, yeah, I'm like this, but not everybody is. And I enjoy this, but not everybody does. So it's also about recognizing the boundaries of be yourself and let other people be themselves. Be who you are and let other people be who they are. And in this, there's this respect of, oh, I pushed you. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah. I'll push uh, somebody else, or I'll just do something else. Oh, I was, uh, I said something I shouldn't have, and I hurt you, and upset you, and I was like, uh, and, uh, I'm sorry for that. And uh, just being able to move on from there. <laughs> like, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing wrong. You didn't necessarily say anything that was inaccurate. You didn't necessarily say anything that was incorrect. It's just about uh, knowing and respecting people's boundaries and uh, their process, because you might talk a certain way, but they may not. So this is what uh, can drive the biggest growth in the ESTP, because if you get too caught up in your inferior, if you get too caught up in diplomacy or failures of diplomacy, too caught up in being uh, the sensitive sensitivity of others or uh, your issues with their sensitivity, you lose track of yourself and you lose the ability to focus on the things that make you great. So I hope this video helped you as an ESTP and thanks everyone for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.